Hi, my name is Ken Lin, one of the librarians at West Los Angeles College. And today we'll be going over how to use literature resources from Gale to do research. First, you will want to open your browser window and go to the West LA College website, www.wlac.edu. And from there, you can reach the Library and Learning Center's homepage from the link on the lower left-hand side of the page. You notice there's several links here. First, we will be clicking on the Research Databases link next to the little magnifying glass. And from there, you would want to scroll down until you reach the one that says Literature Resources from Gale which would include the Literature Resource Center, which some of you are already familiar with, um, as well as Scribner Writers and Twain's Authors. These are several of the literary, of the literary works we have. Okay, and then once we are on the Literature Resources from Gale page, you'll notice there is a search box as well as a couple bubbles. There's ones when you search by person, by or about, you can search by the author, or about a specific person, maybe a biography. And the name of the work would be the title of the book. Keywords would search um, anywhere within the summary or the title or the name of the author. Or you could search the entire document, which would be the searching the entire text of the review or literary criticism or biography. As well as the limit results, you would want to keep the documents the full text um, checkbox left checked so you won't be left with summaries or um, only short stubs of articles and if your teacher requires peer-reviewed publications which would also be known as scholarly journals you can check off this box as well to filter for only peer-reviewed articles so today let's try searching for a room of one's own usually you'll leave off the leading articles such as a and or the from the title which is usually ignored by most databases so you type in room of one's own if you think the words are too common and need to be stringed together you can put them in quotes to force the database to search it as a phrase or as one whole unit you can try searching by keyword Otherwise, um, we can go back and try searching by the name of the work, which should be more specific if you're getting too many re results. So when we search by um, name of the work, you're gonna sp it'll be looking for articles that are already indexed as being noted about entirely about a room of one's own. For some works, it might not be indexed as well. You would have to go back and try a keyword search. And then once you look at your results, if you feel that you have too many results to sort through, you can further search, um, narrow down your search by adding search words such as maybe works about feminism or sex roles or patriarchy. Or Let's try um, related to sex roles. And it'll filter out more articles until you, you have a more manageable amount. Otherwise, you can remove the limits by taking off the um, check, putting, clicking the little X next to the additional search terms you added. And you'll go back to your original results. Also, if you notice across the top, there are several tabs one for literature criticism biographies, topic and work overviews, reviews and news, and primary sources and literary works. Literature criticism will be articles that analyze the meaning of the book. Usually this is done for non-fiction uh, works, which you can interpret the meaning of the work. Non-fiction may have a, a fewer criticisms. Biographies, you'll find biographies about the author, or if it's a non-fiction work, you can, you'll can see biographies of the, sub, uh, the people the book is about. 
the topic overview is interesting in that you can find an overview or outline of the book in case you might have forgotten a certain character's name in the work or a certain chapter. You can uh, have a, get a refresher or an overview of the work. See here you, have, you can see the main figures and a short bio or short description of each of the main characters in this work and a short chapter summary as well similar to what you might have known as cliff notes. Reviews and news are usually more of popular literature. Um, a review is more in terms of whether the reviewer liked the book or whether it's asking you should go buy the book or not if it was an interesting read as, instead of more of a less of a, less of a scholarly work. Primary sources might actually have interviews with the author if it's a more um, recent work from maybe an NPR broadcast or if it was a movie made about the work they might interview a, a director or an actor from one of the characters if there was a movie made from the book. As well as there could be some newspaper interviews um, directly uh, interviewing the author. As you notice on the right hand side there could be one um, some interviews as well. So let's go back to the literature criticism tab and once you find an article that you're um, interested in you can click on the title and as well if you're when you're citing the book you want to try to use the page numbers. See you notice the page numbers are already broken. Now if you notice there's no page numbers broken out already for you you can click the view PDF pages link on the right hand side under tools. And there it will um, show you the original printed version of the work in which you can find the page numbers. Usually it's defaulted to these this plain text version because it loads faster from the internet. So this is the PDF version and you can see the actual page numbers from the printed version of the work which you can use is more is helpful in, cite, in citing this work when you're writing your essay. You can email this entire article to yourself as well. You'll get this pop-up menu. You can choose a citation from MLA 7 or APA 6 whatever your teacher is requiring. Put in your email address up here. and send it to yourself. And it'll send you a confirmation page and click, click back to the document. Otherwise you can um, open the site, you can see the citation usually at the bottom of the article. Normally it'll be under source citation, this is an, um, defaulted to MLA 7th edition. If you need the APA 6 um, to copy and paste into your Word document, you can click on the citation tools here. And then choose um, the citation format you want, and you click Save, and then you can open it in a new window. And from here, you can copy and paste this entire link to your references page if you're using APA format. Another um, interesting tool you can use is the translation link here. You can translate it into another language if you're not as comfortable in English. Um, just be careful, this is just a computer generated translation so it can meet, not make sense um, grammatically or syntactically. It's just a word for word translation. It's just like a tool to help you um, understand this essay. You can as also Listen to the work is a computer generated reading of the work. Or you could you could as well download this computer generated AF reading Rosenberg, of the work New York, to an MP3 Publishers, player. 1995, this is for vision impaired. 103 to 116. Do this. Once you're finished searching, you can also return to the library from this link up here and go back and try one of the other databases if you need for um, more articles on your paper. Thank you for um, watching this tutorial.
and feel free to come by the library anytime if you have any additional questions.